Welcome to Faith Revival Place International. I'm your host, Minister M.G. Mays. Let us begin in prayer. We thank you, Father. We extend our hands of gratitude to your throne of grace. We say how much we love you, how much we admire all that you've done throughout the ages in this word. It shows us your love and respect and adoration that you have for your creation. Father, we, we, we look unto your word and we look unto who you are as being that word. And we say, yes, Lord, we want to follow it. Even, even though we have dark days upon this earth. Even though that we have much against us following the true ways. We will follow it to the last breath. And we thank you, Father. We give you praise. And Father as we study about salvation, both Old and New Testament, how it's all there in your word. Father, I pray that it, it brings a newness in people's lives. And we thank you, Father, for all that you do for our lives. In your holy name we pray, the name above all names, the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And today's sermon is called Salvation of Yahweh Yeshua. Salvation of Yahweh Yeshua. And when you put Yahweh Yeshua together in that way, it, it means the source of salvation of all. But when you just say uh, Yeshua, it means power salvation. And so let us start this, this sermon and be blessed. Let us go to Exodus chapter 15, verse 2. And three, because he's the source of all things. Amen. Our God, our Elohim, he loves us. So let's follow his ways, shall we? All right. And the word of God says, Yah, which means power. Yah is my strength and my song. And he has become my salvation. This is my Elohim God. I will glorify him. My father's Elohim God. I will exalt him. Yahweh is a warrior. Yahweh is his name. Amen. So he is our salvation. He is our rock, our protector, our fortress. In him shall we trust. Amen. And he brings his salvation near and to our dwelling place when we have a heart of repentance every day when we say lord not my will be done but yours when we say to the father we recognize what what yahweh yeshua did on the cross of calvary and how he is our everything that he is the source of life and through the three likenesses the body soul and spirit of god the one god we know the full holiness and goodness of god amen so let us go on we're going to go to second samuel chapter 22 verse 3 and 4 let us go there And the word of God says, Yahweh is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, the Elohim God who is my rock, and whom I find shelter, my shield, my power that saves me, my stronghold, my refuge, my savior. You have saved me from violence. I call on Yahweh, who is worthy of praise, and I am saved from my enemies. You want to be saved from all these things that are occurring on this earth? Like, for instance, the biggest thing that a lot of bad doers, evildoers, hide from humanity about radiation 
That's the biggest thing that is being hidden is radiation, that the radiation leaks and all the things. If you knew all that, that really is going on on this earth, most people would lose heart. And we must not. We must stay the course and stay biblical and optimistic. Not positive, but optimistic. Because we don't want to be like the New Agers, positive and negative. We want to be optimistic and biblical according to the Word of God. And when we talk about the Word itself, the Word was made flesh and dwell with mankind. So when the Word, when we read the Word, we're reading Jesus, Yeshua. Anything in this Bible is the motivation of the Word himself, which, which was clarified in John 1.1 1, 1, as Yeshua, Jesus. Amen. So this whole Bible is the Lord. And you cannot separate the Word and the Messiah himself because it's all spells from the Messiah, the Mashiach. Amen. And so let salvation draw nigh every day to you. Start it out by accepting the Lord, but now go on word. As a, as a warrior believer of the, the Mashiach, the Messiah. Amen. So let us go to 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 40 through 42. Let us go there. So that, for this is the time to shine the light of God upon your lives. And be the, the light to this world. This dark, dying world, indeed dying world that needs the light of God on it. So be the treasures that God molds, that God saves every day. Hallelujah. And you be full of God's light. Amen. So let us read. And the word of God says, Now my God Elohim, please let your eyes be open. Let your ears pay attention to the prayers being made in this place. Now go up, Yahweh, Elohim God, to, to your place of rest and you and your ark through which you give strength. May your Kohim, your set apart people, your priests, Yahweh, Elohim God, be clothed with, with salvation. May those loyal to you take joy and, and good. Yahweh Elohim God, don't turn away the face of your anointed ones. Remember the mercy of your servant David. Amen. It's meaning we, we need to have the motives like David had. He had. His motives were pure before the Lord, even when he did wrong. He repented quickly. And turn to the Lord of hosts. Amen. So that's what we need to do. We need to turn to the Lord of hosts. For he loves us. He, he, his splendidness and his glory is forever and evermore. So we need to turn to the Lord of hosts. The one that, that is the savior of our life. The Mashiach. The Messiah. The everything of our life. And know. That he's not here to save us once, but every day. Of many different sorts of things we need to be saved from. Even things that we do not know. And that's why we have to have repentance heart inside ourselves. And we need to settle it. That whatever the world does, we will not serve or bow the pagan idols of this world. We will only serve the Lord thy God. In him we only will serve. Just like the Hebrew children, they wouldn't serve or bow down to nothing. But the Lord of hosts, Elohim, Elanehu, God Almighty, Yahweh is his name, Yahshua, Jesus, who he is, who we serve and who we only will serve. Bow no to no other 
but the God of this Bible. Amen. So let's go to First Peter chapter 1, verse 22 through 25. Let us go there. Let us sup in God's word, and let us be strengthened in the Lord of hosts, for he loves us. And his majesties are forever and ever and ever, no matter what the pagan world says, that the Lord of hosts lives forever. And his praises will go up. And he will reveal himself in due time. We thank you, O Lord of hosts. Let us read now. Now that you have purified yourself by obeying the truth. The key is obeying the truth. So that you have sin sincere love for your brothers and sisters. Love each other deeply with all heart you have been born again not from some seed that will deny but from one that cannot de de decay through the living word of god and last forever for all humanity is like grass all its glory is like a wild flower the grass withers and the flowers fall away but the word of God of Elohim lasts forever. Did you hear that? The word of God of Elohim lasts forever. Because he is the word, the manifested word. Amen. Moreover, this word is the good news which he has proclaimed to you. It says the word. Not just the new, but the old and the new is the good news. Is the good news raining out that salvation, that the, the saving of the lost soul is the redemption of the pagan lifestyle into the light of God. Amen. And fall in these ways, both Old and New Testament, that makes the complete testimony that God loves you that God wrote his love on the pages of the complete Bible amen hallelujah so we need to rejoice in the years of our salvation spiritually social the our soul and our body of the salvation he brings this triunal human beings that we are that nobody wants to talk about why are we triunal beings we have a body soul and spirit and that's the image and likeness of that we got from God because God is a triunal being body soul and spirit and that's where we got ours body soul and spirit except the thing is, when Adam and Eve ate that forbidden fruit, they lost the glory on their body and their and their soul and their spirit. But God redeemed the spirit through the Mashiach. And God will redeem the rest of humanity, the soul and the body as well. Because that is the second coming blessing of the Mashiach. The Messiah, Yahweh saves, Yeshua. Amen. So let us go on now. We're going to go to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 8 through 19. Let us go there. So let the redemption of the Lord draw an eye to you today. Amen. And the word of God says, Remember Yeshua the Messiah, who was raised from the dead, who was descendants of David. This is the good news I proclaim, for which I am suffering to the point of being bound in chains. But the word of Elohim God is not bound in chains. Why do I preserve through it all? 
for the sake of those who have been chosen, so that they too may obtain deliverance that comes through the Mashiach, the Messiah, Yeshua, with eternal glory. Here's the statement you can trust. If we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we preserve, we will also rule with him. If we disown him, he will disown us. And if we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot disown himself. Amen. For the Lord loves us. Amen. Keep rem reminding people of this and, and charge them solely before the, the Lord Yahweh not to engage in worldly battles. They accomplish nothing useful and are a, a, a disaster for the hearer. Do all that you can to present yourself to Elohim God as someone worthy and his approval as you work with no needs to be ashamed because he deals straightforward with the word of truth. But keep away from godliness babble, for those who engage in it will only become more ungodly. And that means when you are a believer and there's a gathering, all you guys want to talk about is worldly things about football, baseball, and there's nothing you want to talk about God in the conversation, then that's what it's talking about. I know a lot of you don't want to hear that, but that's the truth. When you sit there and talk about your car, your truck, your television, I mean, you can talk about it, but hey, put Jesus in there. Put Yahshua in there. Put the Lord, if there's the Lord's not in it, it's not worthy to be talked about. Remember, we are are different people mm. than the world is. The pagan people talk about those things. And when I say pagan, I mean the rest of the world. You're not of the pagan world any longer. You're, you're supposed to be the light of the world. Yeah, you can talk about your football. Put Jesus in there. Put the Lord in there. You don't put the Lord. Don't talk about football then at all. Talk about Jesus. Talk about what he did for you today. Testify with one another. You, you shouldn't be like the rest of the world. You want to be of the world? Well, go back there. If you can't be of the Lord, then why, why pretend to be that way? Or be that way. Be all the way for the Lord of hosts. And their teaching uh, will eat away at the people like Grumbling. Uh, Hemias and uh, Phyllis is, are among them. So it's it's a reminder of some people in the past that have done that. And they have missed the mark. So you don't want to miss the mark. You have to have a proper attitude. If this bothers you at all, then you need to repent. You need to get right with the Lord. We are new creatures in Christ Jesus. And if you can't walk it, then you need to repent and ask the Lord for strength. Because you should love the Lord your God more than anything else. And if you don't, you're going to be talking about other things. What your heart loves, that's what you're going to speak on. But if your heart loves the Lord more than anything, that's what you should be speaking on, right? So there's a lot of folks that need to get their lives straight this year with the Lord and, their, and who their salvation is of their life, not just once but every day. And as far as the truth is concerned, by saying that your uh, resurrection has already taken place, they are overcome some of the people's faith. Nevertheless, God's firm foundation stands. Stamped with these words, the Lord knows his own. Amen. And let anyone who claims to belong to the Lord Yahweh 
Stand apart from wrongdoings. Are you standing apart from wrongdoings, church? O oh, Israel, are you standing apart from wrongdoings, twelve tribes of Israel? Are you standing apart from wrongdoings, O oh, Israel, twelve tribes of Israel? Are you standing apart from these things? Are you are you seeking the salvation of the Lord? Twelve tribes of Israel. Are you seeking the things of the Lord of hosts? So twelve tribes of Israel. That make the church and the Jews. And even those that are still lost in this world. Oh, twelve tribes of Israel arise. And seek the things of the Lord. And the wild seed of Abraham, which are the Arabs and the other seeds. Stop going towards Muslim teachings, Arabs. And get saved, you wild seed of Abraham. Arabs, get saved. Get saved. And the Mashiach will save you if you stop following this false doctrine called Muslim teachings, Arabs, and black people. Repent, O wild seed, and come to the grace of God. For we all on this earth are from Abraham, not just spiritually, but in the natural. Many don't know this. This is the prophecy that the Lord of hosts prophesied it to Abraham when he said that as the many as the sands of the sea, many of the stars, you, that's what you'll have, O oh Abraham, in the future, he said, which is the now. For we're all from the seed of Abraham, and that's not spiritual like the church thinks, but the naturally too. And when we fight on this earth, when we blow each other up, we're blowing our brothers and sisters up. Do you like blowing your brother and sister up, America? Do you like blowing your 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 fellow brothers and sisters up, Iran? Huh? They're all your brothers and sisters. Forsake this evil ways, O earth. And draw nigh to the Mashiach, the Messiah. Yeshua is the Messiah. The great God, Yahweh, is his name. Draw nigh to him and he'll draw nigh to you. You should feel ashamed, O earth. For they all are your brothers and sisters. Feel very ashamed, O people on this earth. For they all are your brothers and sisters on this earth. Stop the warring. Stop this false peace and draw nigh to the Mashiach, the Messiah, Yahweh saves. For this is the love message the Lord has to say to this earth. Now let us all gather together and read Isaiah chapter 46, verse 9 through 13. For the Lord of hosts loves you, O planet earth, and he is hurt and very hurt of all God is not for war or false peace. He is for the true peace that he sent through his Mashiach, the Messiah, over 2,000 years ago. Amen. So let us sup in God's word and read it and take it in together. Remember things that, that happened at the beginning, long ago. That I am yet Elohim God. There is no other. I am Elohim God. There is no none like me. At the beginning I announced the end. Proclaim in advance the things not yet done. And I say that my plans will hold. I will do everything I please to do. I call the bird a prey from the east, and a man I attend from uh, descendants of countries. I have spoken, and I will bring it about. I have made a plan, and I will fulfill it. Listen to me, you stubborn people on this earth, so far from righteousness. I am bringing my 
Justice near. It is not far away. My salvation will not delay. I will place my salvation into Zion. For Israel, my glory. He calls you, O Israel, his glory. And I think it's proper to say it's not saying nation or country here. So it's saying the 12 tribes of Israel. You're his glory, O Israel. 12 tribes of Israel, you are his glory. Why do you go in false doctrines, O church, O Jews? And all the people of the world, they're still lost. Oh, he, it was you're his glory. Why do you do these things, says the Lord of hosts? Come back to the word of God. Come back to the things of, of, the, of these weird things, of religion things that you do, O oh church and O oh Jews, even people in the world. Come back to the Lord of hosts who he loves you. He kissed you with a holy kiss and loves you. Stop these things, says the Lord of hosts, for these days are evil. Come back to the Lord of hosts, for he is cooing you back to him. He loves you. Stop these things. Read his word with love and know he loves you, for he is a holy God and he wants a holy people. United. But being who they are to be created to be as individuals as well. Amen. Let us go to First Peter chapter 1, verse 3 through 9. Let us go there. Seek the Lord while he can be found. That's what I say unto thee. For these things the word says unto you. Praise be Elohim God, the Father of our Lord Yeshua, the Messiah, who is keeping with his great mercy, has ca caused us through the resurrection of Yeshua the Messiah, the Messiah, from the great mercies. The dead to be born again in the living hope, to, to the inheritance that cannot Decay, soil or fade, keep safe from you in heaven. Meanwhile, through trusting, you are being protected by Elohim God's power for deliverance ready to be revealed at the last times, which is now. These are the last times. They are now. Wake up, O Ezra. Wake up. These are the last times. When I say Israel, I'm not saying nation or country with that. I am saying to Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel and the wild seed of Abraham. Wake up, all of you. When I say wild seed of Abraham, I'm not talking about the church. You're part of the seeds of, of Israel. You just don't know it. And you're being revealed this day that you are part of the, you could be Benjamin, you could be Asher. You let the Lord reveal it this day to you. And the wild seed is the Arabs. They're part of, they were birthed through Abraham too. So I say unto the earth, I'll rise and I'll wake up and know there's only one God. And his name is Yahweh, Yeshua, Jesus. The source of salvation, Yahweh Yeshua. And these are the last days. They're not going to be here. They are already, you're already living in them now. Rejoice in this. Even through a little while you may experience grief and various trials. Even gold is tested for generous by fire. The purpose of these trials is so that you trust generously through which is far more valuable than perishable gold. Uh, well, 
will be judged worthy of praise, glory, and honor at the revealing of Yeshua the Messiah, which is the second coming it's talking about. You need to, to, to these trials of grief that you're going through, all, all 12 tribes of Israel, that you're going through on this earth. These are tests. So then when, when the Messiah, the Mashiach, comes a second time, that you'll be found worthy. And that's what it's all really about. The Great Tribulation, or the Minor Tribulation, which we, we are in the Great Tribulation, going in real soon. When you see that red moon, that's the, that's the start of the Great Tribulation. And the minor tribulation, which has already pretty much passed, there's a break in the in between, which we're in now, of the minor and the great. And so while while these things are wrapping up on this earth, we need to be found faithful to the Lord of hosts to the very end, until his second coming. We're here for the, the, the whole tour until he comes amen a lot of you don't want to hear that a lot of you rather have this falseness that hey that god's not good enough to protect you through what you call the tribulation and that's not true if that wouldn't be true then why didn't he protect the israel through the desert 40 years why did he do many things he always protects his own people why you have faithfullessness in the lord to do protection for you. Yes, there's radiation. Yes, there's many things going on. Yes, but the Lord could protect you, but you got to listen. You got to do the right things too. I mean, make sure you have potassium iodine in your cabinet. Make sure you have, you know, golden seal and, and certain things that protect you in a natural way when these things are occurring. Amen. So listen to these things. And without having been seen him, you love him. Without seeing him now, but trusting in him, you continue to full of joy that the glory is beyond words. And you are receiving that you trust is aimed at, namely your deliverance at the end. Amen. But the deliverance now too. See, there's deliverance now. As well, there's not deliverance when the Mashiach comes just then, but there's deliverance now. There's deliverance every day. You know what? You have to have a repentance heart every day because you know what? Let's face it. This flesh is gonna is gonna be screaming things at our spirit, and that's why our soul needs to be proper trained by our spirit. And a spirit man, or if you're a woman, spirit woman, needs to be trained up by the living spirit, the spirit of the living God, the Holy Spirit. See, there's order to everything. The Holy Spirit trains our spirit up, right? Our spirit is supposed to train our soul up, right? And that soul needs to get with the program and take command over our body. But that's how things work. There's order and harmony within God, and there should be order and harmony within ourselves. Amen. And when we gather together, there's harmony in, in, in the, as, a, as a group of people coming together to proclaim in a memorial set apart to the Lord. Amen. So now let us go to the closing scripture. And I hope this is ministering to you that salvation is near every day. And we have to have a repentance heart. We need to honor the Lord our, our God with all our hearts, mind, and strength. So the, so the scripture we're going to go to now is Revelations chapter 7, verse 9 through 17. So take heart and have a good joy because you have joy in the Lord of hosts. Amen. Let us read the word together. And after this, I look, and there be before me 
was a huge crowd. That's all of us. Too, too large for anyone. And, you know, also in heaven. But it's also referring to us now. From every nation, tribe, and people, and language. There you go. And they were standing in front of the throne, in front of the Lamb, dressed in white robes, and holding palm branches in their hands. And they shouted, Victory to our God, Elohim, who sits on the throne, the Lamb of God. And we can remember what scripture when they said, Hosea, Hosea, Hosea Hosanna to the Lord Almighty. You know, when they had palm branches in Jerusalem for, for the Lord the first time. Because they knew who the Mashiach was, a lot of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them did. And they, they were wanted to crown him king the first time. But this time, they're, this is the second coming of the Lord. They are doing it now. They are saying, Hosanna, Hosanna to the Lord of hosts. And they're going to crown the Mashiach, the Messiah, Yahweh, all of God, as king of the earth. Amen. The second time he's coming as king, remember? So let us read on. And all the angels stood around the throne, and the elders and the four living beings, and they fell before down before the throne and worshipped Elohim God, saying, Amen. Praise and glory, wisdom and thanks, honor and power and strength belong to our Elohim God forever and ever. Amen. One of the elders asked me, These people dress in white robes. Who are they? And they were, are they from? Sir, I answered, you know, and he told me, and these are the people who have come out of the great persecution. They have washed their robes. This is talking about us, fellow brothers and sisters. It's talking about us. Listen to the Lord of hosts, for these are the days we're living in. We're coming out of the great Persecution, which is also called the Great Tribulation part. Let me read it again. These are the people who have come out of the Great Persecution. They have washed their robes and made them white with the blood of the Lamb. That is why they are become God's throne. And the day and night they serve him in the temple. And the one who sits on the throne with, will put the Shekinah upon them. Amen. His glory will be on us. His glory will be on us. And that's his protection. And they will never again be hungry. And they will never again be thirsty. The sun will not beat down on them. Can I hear amen? Because the sun can ruin, you know, if you get too much in it. Nor will any of the burst of heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will shepherd them, will lead them to the springs of living water. And God will wipe away every tear, not some, every tear from their eyes. Amen. Isn't, isn't that prophetic? This, this, to read this at the end. So, take upon you the salvation of God. Be so grateful, 12 tribes of Israel. Be so grateful in the Lord of hosts today and every day. Take in the preciousness of God in your heart. He loves you so greatly. Words cannot express how much he loves you. And if you are not saved today, today's salvation is drawing nigh to your dwelling place. For he loves you. He loves you so much. He died on that cross of Calvary, the first coming he did. 
and now he wants to be your Savior and Lord. Are you going to get saved today? Today's salvation draws nigh to your heart. So pray this prayer with me. And if you're walking shallow as a Christian or a Jew, do not do that, 12 tribes of Israel, no longer. Pray this prayer with me. Dear God, Yahweh, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body as Lord and Savior of my life. Love Yeshua, Jesus. Amen. If you meant that prayer, I believe you're born again today. We need to water baptize you one way or another. Search a church out that's in the Word of God. Number one, the Word of God. If they're not in the Word, don't go there. Go where the Word is being preached. And I want you to get baptized there. And why you say baptized in water? Well, because Moshe was baptized in water in so many ways as a baby, being saved by the Egyptians. And he was raised out of the water too. And the Maccabees baptized many people. And they were called the Zealots, the Maccabees. And then Yeshua himself and John the Baptist, you know, they, he baptized many. But Yeshua himself, the Mashiach, was baptized in water. So it's an act of obedience. It, you know, it, you're washing yourself as an act to your mind that, hey, I'm, I'm dying out to the pagan lifestyle of this world. I'm refusing to be a drome of this world. I'm refusing to be a Borg of this world. And you're raising up to be a new creature in Christ Jesus. You're raising up with the Mashiach as a new creature in Christ Jesus. Amen. Yeshua the Mashiach. Amen. And so baptism is very relative. And then every day being baptized through, through the blood of the Mashiach. And also through baptizing the Spirit of God every day, like fresh bread, like fresh manna, like was dropping from heaven the 40 days in the deserts, you know, the 12 tribes of Israel, your great great ancestors, and in the time when they were going through the deserts 40 years, and the manna came down. Well, you need that freshness of the blood of Jesus, the remembrance of it, of claiming it on your on yourself on your families and 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 of the spirit of god upon you fresh every day amen so now i want to pray over the sick among us for you know what the lord says he heals the broken heart he he mends our souls and that's what he wants to do there's many souls out here that need mending there's many minds that need to be renewed with the Spirit of God. Amen. There's many physical ailments that need to be taken care of. And you know what? The Lord knows about it. And we're, all we're going to do now is we're going to stand in faith with you. We're going to stand in faith with one another. With whatever's going on. And do not be ashamed. And if you have guilt about any of these things. Then you know what? You need to give a guilt offering as, as well. And what, you know, as we learned what a guilt offering is, as say, Lord, I plead the blood of Yeshua Jesus. Father, take this guilt out of my life. I proclaim what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. And that's what you say. For because God never intended mankind to carry guilt. Guilt is it's a toxic emotion that needs to be removed. So now that we got rid of the guilt, let us praise the Lord in a prayer for your healing. Thank you, Father. We praise you for the small and the great things in life. Father, we, we, we go before your throne in a humble way, but also boldness in your word. And we say thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord, that your word says you heal the brokenhearted, that you mend the minds, and you, you comfort our bodies, and even to the point of healing. And we thank you, Father, and we thank you for your touching your people now. I speak to the angels of healing under the angel, archangel uh, uh, Raphael to go forth. 
and heal the people of God. And and the angels that are underneath uh, the the archangel of mystery and uh, of of the word of God go forth and present the word. May the word of God rush over them, and may all the scriptures come alive as they're being healed. For the testimony of healing in the word be upon them now. So that they know that the Lord of hosts loves them. For the Lord of hosts will mend their broken hearts. And, and renew their minds. And, and see the captives set free in, their, in the body area. And they will be comforted and they will be healed. For this is the day of the Lord. Salvation will draw nigh to your body, to your mind, and to your soul. And we thank you, Father, for your eternal healing upon your people. For now and forever, we say shalom, wholeness be upon you, so you can gather in the peace of God. Amen. Now, I want to pray the shalom prayer. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Wholeness that brings us the peace that passes understanding. Through the word and through the Mashiach, we are whole and at peace now. And through these things, through obedience and trust, and through the washing of, of the spirit and the blood, may that we be whole now and at peace. May wholeness and peace nothing severed nothing broken be with us through the Mashiach the Messiah Yeshua be added unto us in every day through a repentance heart and through our obedience heart we go forth in these saints and we say Shalom 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 be added unto all of us for now and forever may you be blessed in the Lord of hosts and be strong this year. Shalom.